Okay, so we just uh, went around the property and harvested a few things. Uh, this is what we got. Let's see, there's cayenne peppers. Uh, they're, they're ready, I'd say. This is chichicalite, and they're ripe now, so they're actually a uh, dark purple, almost black color. I don't know if you can see that. That's Yeah, that's pretty much what they look like. Um, and then let's see, oops, don't wanna drop stuff. Then we got some grapes. Uh, this year, the grapes had a bit of a problem, so they're actually cracking before they get to full size. Uh, let me see. Uh, we don't know why that's happening, but yeah, these guys are, they're fine as long as we wash them. They're usually coated in this little powder anyway, but yeah, the popping thing, that's, that's not quite normal as far as I've been told by uh, my mom-in-law who's actually the one that you know with the grapevines and we got a lot of um, Swiss chard and a bit of kale the kale I actually had to chop down because it was um infested with aphids so the ones that were edible you know I still have but see look at this aphids and really the way to get rid of them it would just be to do this squish them they're dead uh, but I don't have time to go through that every day and we have a lot of them uh, so yeah okay so those go there they're um, yeah they're starting to wilt and let's see so okay so we've got little tiny tiny uh, little this chard we've got a few moringa leaves um it, it really it was just a matter of cleaning out my plant. We don't want the ones with the yellow leaves, but uh, they're nutritious enough that I'm gonna eat them anyway. So there's that. Uh, let me see. More grapes. Oops. <laughs> Came with some dry leaves. Let's see. Okay, so there's more grapes right there. Those need to be washed. More kale. And then Swiss chard galore. Look at this, guys. This is a lot of Swiss chard, so I need to wash it. And then I need to cook some of it. Whatever I don't get to cooking, I guess I'm going to just uh, freeze. And that way I can save it for later when I don't have any Swiss chard uh, for food. And then we got a tiny cucumber. Uh, we picked all the cucumbers, uh, you know, recently. So right now we only have tiny ones. And let's see. And so there's papalo. Papalo's are wilting a little, so he needs to be put in water. And let's see. And and this was actually just from one one plant, one section of the garden downstairs. So it can actually. I can actually go and harvest a lot more, but I think this is all we can go through in the next couple days. Uh, well, I mean, we can go through more, but I, don't, I think it might be just wasteful, really. And then here's, oh, one egg. I think uh, Mikey had already gone through the, gone through today. So he, I think he already picked all the eggs from there, but there was one ready that I guess, I don't know, I guess they laid it after he went. And then look at all this. These guys are figs. They are ready. They're finally ready. And I am excited. I love figs. I love figs. They're so sweet. Okay, and then we have apples. Apples. Apples, different varieties. I'm not quite sure what kind of varieties they are, but uh, they're definitely different. <laughs> These guys actually stay like this. They stay like green. Um, yeah, pale green basically. They start getting almost yellow once they're really ripe and they always have like these little markings on the top. Uh, these red ones don't seem to have the markings on the top as much as the other ones do. And you know, you just wait for them to turn red. But I don't really like apples. Uh, but I do, I, I don't mind this kind, the green ones. I, well, they don't taste like the green apples. They taste really sweet. I'm not sure what variety they are, but uh, they taste really good. But normally I don't like apples. So I'm glad that we have an apple and apple tree in the property that actually works for me. So that's pretty much um, a whole basket of food. So that's figs, different kinds of apples. Uh, there's papalo. 
there's kale, uh, there's peppers, uh, there is, let's see, there's also Swiss chard and cucumbers, an egg, I'm pretty sure there's another carton of eggs outside in the fridge that uh, is already cleaned off and everything, so the chickens are just laying a lot of eggs. And then, oh, really quick here, um, tomatoes from a hothouse. Um, I guess a cleaning lady um, grows tomatoes and she had an excess. Same thing with the broccoli. The, I mean, when you have extra, you give them away. And in here, let's see, I have some epazote and some basil. Oh, and I finally figured out what that little plant was. It was a little carrot. <laughs> yeah, on the side garden, and I have one in the front, I think. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know how it got there, but it's definitely a carrot. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, but this is for one day. Uh, there's definitely plenty of chard left. There's uh, cucumbers are going to start busting out soon again. Uh, Chichiquilete. I pretty much harvested everything I have from the two plants, so they don't produce quite as much volume as I'd like, but... Uh, they're not the sweetest thing anyway, so that's fine. Figs are just uh, exploding now, and the next week it's going to be crazy. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep up with some of it. Uh, but yeah, so that was harvested. Now I just need to clean them up, make sure they... Oh, this guy's going to be perky. But I just like to have some uh, fresh stuff on the table that I can just nibble on. <laughs> or that I can eat with my dinner, lunch, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Yay!